In this part three of a three-part vlog where I've spoken to Steph and James, we're going to hear about some of the things that they've used to help them cope with having a parent living with dementia. So we're going to hear about how baby monitors, technology and oven gloves really help them. I hope you find this useful. Hello, my name is James Ashwa. My name is Stephanie. My mum lived with early onset frontotemporal dementia. My mum has early onset Alzheimer's. This is Denise. I found so many things that helped and that's actually why I set up Unforgettable to um, help other people in the same situation as me to discover products, uh, uh, services and advice that could really help them. Uh, some of the real um, big things that have made things easier for us is technology. There were three things that really helped me. One was uh, advice, um, it, just finding out the answers to the things that I really needed, which is why we set up uh, the advice section on our site. So dad and mum are I'm very connected by their iPads and iPhones, they FaceTime every day, multiple times a day. Um, secondly was community, meeting carers and other people like me really helped me to uh, cope with being a carer because it made me feel like I wasn't on my own. At um, various points over the last few years, um, myself and my two sisters have all moved back in to various points to help out. The third thing which is products. Most people, in fact 87% of people in the UK don't believe there are any products that exist to help people with dementia when we have over 2,000 on our website and products can really make a difference. In fact that's why we call them life-changing products. We've had a number of really amazing carers, we've got a really good carer team now. The two products that made the biggest difference to me were Kevlar ne nylon gloves that enabled my mum to keep cooking for two years longer than her doctor and occupational therapist said she could do. When my mum used to get up in the night and I used to tie string from her bedroom door to my finger so that she wouldn't fall down the stairs in the dark, a carer told me to use a baby monitor and that made all the difference because it was next to her bed and I could sleep much better knowing that I could just turn over and see how my mum was doing. It's been a really tough, uh, tough few years but together as a family we are stronger and importantly mum's really happy. Looking back now, I have a really good understanding of what the journey entails in terms of incontinence and memory problems and mobility issues, uh, bathing and sleeping problems, but back then I had no idea uh, what, what the journey would entail and I wish that I did know because I think it would have made it much easier for me to be prepared. 